Well, if you clicked on About Us or about the history of Arcadia Brewing Company, thank you. My name's Tim Surprise, and I founded Arcadia Brewing Company back in 1996. And I guess my passion for brewing became a reality as a result of uh, an interest in beer. Not so much from uh, making beer, but in enjoying the best beers that I could get my hands on uh, when I was traveling throughout the United States and overseas for my employment at that time. You see, back in uh, the early 90s, I got involved in, in the paper industry, and I was traveling throughout the U.S. and overseas working for a couple of different companies, helping uh, international paper companies make better paper or more paper. Well, after a few years in that career, as you can imagine, if you've ever lived or driven around a paper mill, I was inspired, so to speak, to seek another uh, vocation. And, and because I was a big fan of the locally made beer wherever I was traveling, that turned into an interest in visiting some of those breweries. I went through, I don't know how many different brewery tours across the United States, and even some overseas, and started to meet and get to know a lot of these uh, craft brewers, and this would have been 1990 through 1995. I found that they were people not terribly unlike me in that they had a passion for beer, maybe not the experience to make beer commercially, but that passion was the common theme. So I became interested in an industry as a, as a consumer and turned that, that interest into a passion for creating, uh, hopefully, uh, great world-class class ales uh, from here at us at Arcadia Brewing Company in Battle Creek. I'm from upstate New York and when I made the move to Michigan in 1991, one of my first exposures to great local craft beer was at what was then known as Kalamazoo Brewing Company, Bell's Beer in Kalamazoo. And most of you I've probably have either enjoyed, enjoy, or have enjoyed a Bell's Beer in the past. Well, for me, I became enamored of the local craft movement at the Kalamazoo Brewing Company and the Bell's brand. From there, again, my travel and my interest in other beers and breweries led me on a family vacation back in 1994 to the southern coast of Portland, Maine. And in that uh, family trip, we took a wonderful little side trip up to uh, Gritty McDuff's Brew Pub in the old port section of Portland, Maine and met the two owners there by chance, asked them where their passion or how they came about being able to make such great beer and they led me down the road to meet who became our mentor, Alan Pugsley and Shipyard Brewing Company. Many of you probably know of Shipyard and their wonderful beers and ales uh, out of Portland, Maine, but Alan became a friend, a mentor and ultimately our brewing consultant in getting Arcadia from a concept and a passion into a purveyor of British-inspired beers here in Battle Creek, Michigan. That all started in 1996, and that traditional equipment that we use was designed, fabricated, and shipped over from the UK. So the British-inspired ales that we make here are actually made on equipment that was designed the old school way in a very deliberate, uh, thoughtfully considered process and system that's ideally suited to the kind of beers that we make. The uh, second element that I would uh, talk about relative to our history uh, is that commitment in addition to using a British inspired uh, process and a uh, British expatriate in Alan Pugsley who hailed from uh, the United Kingdom, who learned his craft brewing from one of the godfathers of the craft beer movement in England, Peter Austin, and then collaborated with Peter to develop the Peter Austin system which we use. In addition to all that, that history, that experience, uh, we've made a commitment to use nothing but the finest raw materials in the, on the planet, regardless of the cost. That was one of the principal tenets from Peter Austin when he, dis he defined a manner in which a brewer should proceed to make world-class beer. His first tenet, his first plank, if you will, was enable your brewer to source the finest raw materials regardless of cost. Now that's a big commitment in a competitive industry, but that's something that we've done. And it's illustrated in, in the quality of the foundation of all of our beers, and that's the malt. 
Our malt, our base malt, it comes from the United Kingdom and we pay extra for that privilege, for that resource, but we believe it adds a dimension, a depth, and a foundation to all of our beers that stands uh, alone or at least distinctively among our great peers here in the state of Michigan and in the craft industry uh, throughout the U.S. and overseas. So that raw material commitment to use the freshest, the best, uh, I think really has made a distinctive advantage and a distinctive part of what Arcadia Ales is all about. And that includes the hops. You know, the other primary component of what brewers use and for those of us who are hop heads, we can relate to how important that is, that, that bittering and aromatic uh, balance to the sweetness that these great uh, malted barleys are being used uh, provides. Our hops are the freshest and the best that we can source. So that commitment to the best raw materials is being followed, we believe, uh, here at Arcadia. The second uh, principal tenet that Peter Austin has and had was to clean the copper well. In England, the boiling kettle is known as the copper, primarily because it was most uh, uh, usually made back in the day out of copper materials. Today, stainless steel rains, that's what, this is what we use, but when he says and said, clean the copper well, what that meant and means to us is super sanitation, super clean, that's the order of the day because of the third element that makes what we do here quite unique and distinctive, and that is open fermentation. Uh, the British and the Belgians are the only two brewing cultures in the world for the most part that have been crazy enough to stake their claim on a lot of open fermentation. That is, using a single proprietary yeast strain to its greatest advantage and its greatest potential. And that is using it in an open air environment that's controlled, managed, dare I say farmed to perfection and in, or at least in the pursuit of perfection in the effort to continuously make better beers, better ales and, and, and products out of a cultural uh, iconic component to a brewery's terroir if you will so it's the system that we use the commitment to use the the best raw materials that we can source authentically grown malted and or uh, processed and and to use a, 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 an open fermentation system and a proprietary yeast strain that is in itself unique that's part of the commitment that we have and part of the history of Arcadia Brewing Company and oh, by the way, the third principal tenet, the third plank to Peter Austin's uh, recipe, if you will, for, for making world-class beers, in addition to enabling the brewer to make uh, the best decisions and to source the best raw materials, uh, to clean the copper and to keep your, your brewery super sanitized, super clean. Uh, the third tenet, every time before you brew get on your knees and say a prayer to Almighty God because it's science but it's also art and craft and sometimes uh, things go wrong.